Hey guys, I put uh, something on one of the Facebook posts earlier um, for the CL500 group and um, made me realise I haven't done a video lately for, uh, for my YouTube channel. So I thought I'd do an update on that. I'm in a different location now, so if you saw any of the old videos outside the villa, I moved uh, a couple of months back to an apartment which was a lot less work than looking after a bloody villa, that's for sure. So, uh, an update and um, but I'll just talk about a few things that I recently did and that is new tyres all round, the back tyres lasted about 30,000 miles, uh, I couldn't believe it. Um, really good, that was the Goodyear, what are they called? It's performance uh, efficient grip, and they're basically the modern version of what the car would have been fitted with at the time, I believe. Um, not bad price, they were 100 euros each now. I think when I got them done, I bought the car in 2016, and it's 2019 now, obviously. And I had, so I mean the tyres at the time, I think with the, the, whatever the Goodyear equivalent was then, they were pretty crap. They lasted me a couple of thousand miles and they were, they'd obviously gone hard and gone off and I thought I'd replace them anyway. So I put the efficient grip on, I wonder if that window's gonna squeak. No, it didn't. Um, I put them on uh, and they were about 130 euros then and they've gone down, which is you know, unusual. Got to try and get out of this parking space because it's like the tightest bloody garage I've ever been in. It's even worse than Mercadona car park. So um, I thought I'd just do a little update on that. So the tyres were done. Uh, I asked them to check the brakes because the brakes were squeaking like terribly and that was driving me mad, especially when I was reversing. Uh, they were just like, it, there's a little plate I think at the bottom of a caliper that kind of helps it sit and uh, you know, obviously being a heavy car and you're on the brakes all the time being an automatic they just get furred up with all the crud um, but they were pretty low and then when I put it in there they said oh look you know there's no point putting front pads on it's going out into the open sunshine it's like getting off of 30 degrees here so they put the pads on the back but they said there's no point putting pads on the front without changing the discs because the discs are too worn, it'd be a false economy, so you might as well change them at the same time. So I did that. So that wasn't too bad. I'm not sure what discs they use. They were quite expensive, a lot more expensive than if I'd gone and bought some from somewhere like online automotive.co.uk. Um, but all up, uh, I had a ball joint done on the front suspension, so I've had both the front ball joints on the main suspension done in the last year and then I heard a slight knocking sound when I was hitting some of these while well, I'm just going over now speed ramps there's bloody millions of them down in Spain um, and there was another ball joint I'm not sure if it was on the steering or whatever but I asked them when they did the new tyres to do the front wheel alignment and the, you know all the tracking and, and balance and everything up and they said oh we can't do the the tracking uh, because of the ball joint so we need to do that first um, so that was all done and that lot came to about 900 euros so that's in tyres all brakes front discs and the ball joint and all the labour involved with getting that done um, so it's due for service in about 3,000 miles, but I had a massive service last year with all the cabin filters changed and you know all the fluids, gearbox fluid, gearbox filter, all that stuff, and that was a big service. So this year it should be relatively little one. There's the marina where I live, and you can kind of get a probably just can't see much from there. There's some nice boats and stuff. Um, so this year should just be fluids. Uh, I'll get that done in a couple of months probably when it tells me. Um, the radio still doesn't work. I did source an amplifier from a chap who was on the CL500 uh, owners group on Facebook. And if you're not a member of that group, uh, it's a great bunch in there. Quite a, quite a laugh. Everyone's quite realistic about how much these cars cost to run and own and just seem to enjoy it anyway because you've got to spend your money on something, right? 
and what else my distronic it works and then it just comes up and says clean the thing and it's you know been saying that for a while clean the sensor or something but uh, you know it sort of just stops working then I don't know what to do with that probably have to get it onto a decent star system and what else doesn't work the parking sensors I bought a module I can't remember if I mentioned this in a previous update I bought a module to do the parking sensors and they said it was the wrong part so obviously um, they didn't put it on there I didn't know why why would Mercedes change a bloody standard thing like a parking sensor module but I don't even know to be honest if it's that it might just be one of the sensors not working so they don't work and uh, it sort of didn't bother me too much before but now I'm in that garage um, I might have to get that sorted out. What's that? An AMG GT. That's a nice bit of kit. I do like them. Um, so yeah, it could be a bit cosy in there in the garage. Sometimes I did almost hit a post the other day when I wasn't concentrating. So, um, and my radiator fan, the bearing gets a bit noisy, and then it overheats and seizes up. So what happens is the radiator fan blade stops moving basically. So it's pulling. It's not pulling air in to the main radiator. So I've noticed the temperature. Um, getting a bit, little bit high. Um, it doesn't. I only do short runs at the moment, so it's not the end of the world. I've done any big uh, trips. Oh Christ! I need fuel. What's that saying? I've got 0.8 of a gallon left. Um, better get that. Um, and I need to change that. And I think that's going to be about 350 euros to get a pattern one. Um, it hasn't been too bad, to be honest. Um, but obviously, you know, and it's been like that. Oh, I'm terrible really, it's been like that for about almost since as long as I've had the car but I, it just seems one of those things that didn't really matter that much so anyway I'm going to get that changed and um, come on darling you've got to get off the zebra crossing you can't play on it, it's little it's only about four um, so yeah, that's it really. Car's running really well. I'm still enjoying it. Just a few of those things. They don't obviously affect the driving of it. Um, and that's it really. The rest of it is just detail stuff that, you know, I'll get around to fixing. I should sort the radio out really. Because um, I kind of miss having my uh, stone sour blasting out and uh, a bit of other music. But, you know, busy down here today, picking this bloody double part, typical Spanish style. Anyway, that's it really, not much else to report. I'm going to go and wash the car now, get some fuel, and then I'm meeting a friend at a beach bar, and we're going to have a catch up. So I wish you all the best wherever you are right now. If you haven't got one of these yet and you're checking out the videos because you're wondering what to do, Yep, they are bloody expensive to run. If you get the wrong one, do your due diligence. If you've got one of these already and you're having fun with it, have fun. And uh, I'll catch you next time. And um, I'll try and be a bit more regular with posting videos. And if you've got any comments or questions, please fire away. Oh, I must concentrate on the women in bikinis and stuff. Righty-ho, see you soon. Take care.